kiteboarding charters are my favourite type of kite trip. It's a bit like a van trip, but just way better. You've got all your gear with you, you can go wherever you want using green energy. And Cartouche and Wind Voyager is the Rolls Royce of trips. You can't beat a bit of wind power. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So this morning we are sailing from Corsica over to Sardinia. We're actually sailing from one country to another country, guys. We're going from one country to another country. We're gonna go hydrofoiling. We've got Rita. What about Hello, Rita? Guys. Say hello to the fans. Hello, you're on board Cartouche. <laughs> Look at this beauty. What's going on, mate? We got about seven, eight knots. Gonna try foil alongside the boat. We're sailing right now to Sardinia. And yes, yeah, about eight knots. Very marginal. But we like a challenge. So the plan is to try and launch off the back, get the money shot of kiting alongside the boat. While the boat's in sail, there's a lot of moving parts, but we love it. The challenge is great. Got to get the tender in. Right, I'll shut up now and get on with it. So we're about to try and kite alongside the boat while it's under sail. Bit of a logistical nightmare. Even light wind yesterday. It was very light wind, yeah. But it's working. Here we go. He's up. I had never kite surfed in as little as wind as this. I had no idea whether it was even going to be possible, but I had to go for it because it was the only opportunity we'd get to kite surf alongside the boat while it was sailing. I was doing everything I could. I was so out of breath, I just kept pumping the foil and working the kite, and eventually I created just enough power to get up on the foil, and then once you're going, you can use the apparent wind to keep yourself moving, but just don't crash. Surfing alongside the boat's actually a lot harder than it looks. You can see me here pumping the foil to punch through the wind shadow created by the sails. But it is so bloody cool when you're kiting alongside a 95 foot boat between two countries. Eventually, the wind was just too light and the boys had to pick me up in the tender with some cold beers to celebrate getting the money shot. Yeah. Cheers boys! Managed to make it happen in light wind and then the wind completely went but we made it work, got the shot. You're an animal. Now, next up, Willem's gonna wakeboard behind the two. Oh. How was that mate? Sick. Just about made it work. Yeah, yeah. It's super light wind, like 
found the limit of that kite. Yeah, I don't know how you would do it. Uh, <laughs> see, there was a bit where you were struggling, and I was like, oh, I'll just bring the drone in. But like, we, yeah, working the, the kite, pumping the foil gets you so out of breath, I'm just yeah. there like... <laughs> <laughs> We've got to make it work, so. It's yeah. cool when you get that image. I had a few where you were right on my shoulder. Yeah. I'm going past the oh, cheers. Going yeah, I was kind of losing signal a bit again. Oh, really? When I was up close to you. And it's like, it is a bit of a, like, because sometimes it'll cut out for a few seconds. It's like, realistically, you could have, like, you know, like, cut into me by that really? point. Really? At least, like, you know, fortunately, like, because it's you, you're quite smooth with it. Like, yeah, there's no, yeah. no erratic movement. So I can just about trust it. I had one where I fell off and I knew you were close. Yeah, oh, God, that was that. I saw was, you go, and yeah. you were, like, right there that behind me. So I was like, and like, I saw you dropping. Yeah. And, like, the lines just kind of like yeah. actually dropped down I was like, oh, so I had to slam the brakes on yeah. but luckily I didn't to see it coming that one. yeah no I didn't either you were, you were up and then you were just down <laughs> yeah. out of nowhere but no we uh, we got some got some yeah. good photos as well oh, right? sick, so, dude. Uh, nice so, yeah I think we're we're smashing it now. <laughs> <laughs> so, <but. laughs> next up Williamson. oh yeah all right <laughs> that's the foil yeah let's get it boy yeah next on the list for today, we're gonna to get Willem foiling behind Cartouche, which should be really cool. Uh, we got him up behind the rib first time yesterday, smashed it, so we're gonna get him behind the Cartouche today. It's gonna to be pretty cool. Check it out. Good luck, man. All right. Yeah. Yeah. So fucking cool. Yeah, it was so cool. Yeah. Once it's out there, it's like flying. Yeah. So Such cool. a nice feeling, isn't it? When you're above the water and you're just like gliding. Much more, uh, how do you say, uh, direct feeling than I thought. Yeah. I thought like to be on this wing, but it's really like. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you can carve. There's a lot of grip. Yeah, yeah. But when, when I'm behind the boat, there's a lot of air in the water, I feel it's going like. Uh, yeah, it's weird that feeling, isn't it? Yeah. When you get the, the bubbles. Cavitation. Yeah. Foiling uh, yeah. by the uh, yeah. 95 blue catamaran. Pretty epic, huh? Uh, pretty epic. It's fucking awesome. <laughs> Oh, you look stoked, man. Oh uh, man, it's so good. How do you for the arms behind the boat. Yeah, you know, yeah. But, uh, still. Uh, uh, How do you want to towel? How do you want to do it? Get out your wetsuit. Yeah. Do you want to get out before you get in your chair? Yeah, I think that's best. Um, actually, if you uh, have my life jacket somewhere here, there is it. And I'm going to sit on that. Sweet. Today we sailed from the southern tip of Corsica across to the north of Sardinia to a famous windsurfing and kite surfing spot called Puerto Polo, which is notorious for strong wind. So we were gonna be posted up here for a few days. It was time to kick back, drink a couple of beers, and enjoy the sunset. Cheers for watching, guys. See you in the next one. Peace.